What's up everybody? Mean Fly Guys here with another tutorial. Today we are gonna do a two, that's it, two material Buford. It's one of my, I just, I really like this fly for musky. Um, I am using a barbless fire hole 802P. This is a size 5 aught. It's pretty big for a 5 aught. You see what I'm saying? So here I have a musky brush. This brush is great. I wish that I could just tie it like this because that's essentially what it's going to look like. But this is, I want to say, a 9 inch brush. It's a pretty big brush, you know? But it turns out great. So I start right at the tip of the hook here. And this is where I'm going to tie it in. I just pull a few materials out. Just to tie that in real nice and snug. And what I usually do is I'll flip it up and over. Because it is a musky fly, so it is going to get beat up pretty good. I've never really used Bufords for anything other than musky. I'm sure that stripers would eat this, you know. Uh, the brush is escaping me. I'll put it down in the description. But this musky Buford is just a great pattern. I am spending extra time tying it in. I'm kind of making it a little bulky just because I really want to make sure it's in there. Okay, so now I'm going to move forward and I want to leave about a finger, like a pinky finger up front here. I want to leave that space to make my Buford head. So I have about a pinky right about there. And now what I'll do is find the end of this brush. Found the end, it's right there. There's a little wire here. And then what I'm gonna do is start working it back so that my fibers are laying in the backwards direction. This is not like, like with other brushes, you can go pretty quickly. I would recommend going very slowly um, with this brush. Brushes of this size are uh, are great for big musky flies. It makes tying them really easy and really quick. Like normally a musky fly might take you, you know, half an hour or an hour to tie. I mean, maybe even more sometimes. But with the with the brush, you can just quickly and easily get something that's pretty good going forward. All right. So take your time. I just use my hands for this part. I will later on use a use a brush to get this tighter stuff done. I'm going to do one more wrap here. The reason I like to address sort of the shape every turn is because um, if you don't, it gets too difficult to brush out. All right, that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna trap it in right there. You'll want something a little heavier duty to cut it. I'm using some pretty heavy duty nippers. And so what you're left with is just this little, this little tuft here. Make sure all our fibers are going back. Right. Lock that in. I will put a little super glue up front here. Again, it's a musky fly and you know, there's gonna be teeth and everything in there, so. So I try to make it as tight and musky proof as possible. However, you know, it happens. Flies break apart when you're fighting musky. Okay, so now what I'll do is 
go through with a comb. I'll just take, this is just a regular comb and, and brush it out. And it doesn't take very many. These, this brush, it, uh, I can't remember. It's musky something. Musky brush, musky night. God, I cannot remember. But um, it's really not bad. It's, it's easy to brush out. That's why I, I was given this brush to try out from Nate White from NW Flyco. And he said, dude, you gotta check this out. It's sick. And he was right, it is sick. Musky Stalker, Musky, God, I cannot remember for the life of me. Anyways, so I brush it out, make sure it's nice and nice and solid. When fishing it, I would recommend keeping just a simple comb with you. Okay, so right there, we're good. We have our shape. You can see it's basically the same shape as the brush, but nice taper, really full body, pushes a lot of water. So now we're gonna go on to make our Buford head. And I have a bucktail here and black body hair. So what I'm gonna do is the first ring, I'm gonna take basically from the back bottom side, sorry, the back front side here. So, cause I still want some length and I still want some tips, but it needs to flare out. So you wanna take it from the base of the tail and that looks like a pretty good clump. The reason I'm not using the uh, the body hair for this first tie-in point is because this is only a couple inches. It's pretty short, and I want this black collar to be a little bit lengthier. And so that is why I'm gonna have a couple inches of collar here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'll measure out my collar. It's right about, you know, uh, right about there. This remainder, this section here, that's gonna be the length roughly of my Buford head. The more measuring you can do before you pinch down, the less cutting you'll have to do. And I'm all in favor of less cutting. So I just do a couple wraps, make sure it's equally 360 degrees around and you see now this black collar goes well into the fly almost to the back of the hook which is what I want I want this dark purple to lighter color this has been a really good color for us up in the Allagash region of Maine okay That is pretty good for right now. Let's see there. Do a little hitch. Keep the tension. All right, how's that look? Pretty good. We'll try to do two more. So now I'm gonna take my body hair, take a good clump, People seem to like to use pencils as the measurement of the clump. I would say this is like the size of a, a marker, like a Crayola marker. So it's pretty thick. Um, what I'm gonna do is try to tie it right in half, because in half is about the same size here. See, so there won't be much cutting needed. So I'm gonna lay it down there. I do three loose wraps and then push down, pinch, push down, pinch. Then we're good to tighten her up. How's that look? Pretty good there. Make sure it's nice and as tight as my thread will allow. Come out front. Good. Great. Secure that up front. Do a little whip finish. I'm only gonna do one whip finish because this is gonna be covered in glue to get the shape of that head. 
So now what I'll do is just sort of brush out this head. Try to make the fibers kind of mix. Just helps the fibers mix a little bit, makes the head look a little bit better. Okay, now I'm just gonna go around and try to make some angled cuts. Again, I say I say this a lot with a lot of flies, but flies that involve these cuts, you could spend many, many hours doing these cuts. And that you can do that if you want. It's not my it's not my afternoon, it's your afternoon. But I think what's really important is just getting it somewhat even so that when you're fishing it, it pushes water and it doesn't like wiggle how you don't want it to wiggle. So now what I'm gonna do, I want this angled slightly back. Not a lot, but slightly. I take a little clip here. And basically I just get it to trap all these fibers out front so that I can put my glue on please say there we go so now I'm gonna put glue on the front here some UV and I'm gonna put this is a flex coat this is really the only fly that I use this flexi coat stuff for can use it for uh, your waders okay so what I got going on and why I'm doing this is to help this Buford head sort of stay back just a little bit So you see, it adds this layer to the Buford head that makes it even harder. It's just going to push more water. So I'm going to trim it up just a little bit more. And But this fly is good to fish right now. If you wanted to fish it just as is, you're totally fine. You see I got a little space there. Maybe I'll trim that down a little bit more. But this fly is great. It's ready to fish. and. It's a musky killer for sure, especially up north. I might even make it a little smaller. I might feather these tails out because right now it's right now it's six, seven. Eh, no, it's pretty good. It's about eight inches long. In Maine, these musky flies, you know, I don't. You don't need the honking fifteen-inch flies. Six to ten inches is like that's all I do, and that seems to be work pretty well up there. So there's our fly. It's been 13 minutes, 13 minute musky fly. That, that, that will do it. Midnight muskies, midnight musky brushes. God, I don't know, I'll put it in the description. Anyways, that's, uh, that's the fly, that's the Buford. Super, super simple, two materials, just a little bit of hair and this brush. And you're good, you're all set. So that's it, thanks for watching. Check out mainflyguys.com. We got a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, and yeah, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. HMH Vice for the win every time. All right, we'll catch you next time.